What does it mean to be a Navy SEAL and what do SEALs do better than any other force? To be a Navy SEAL, I mean, I think the idea of being a Navy SEAL as opposed to other spec ops units, the uniqueness is the water element. Um, It always has been. The fact that the predecessors of the SEALs were the naval combat demolition teams and the UDTs, underwater demolition teams, and and they all came from the water. They were kind of born of the water, and and they all made the water their home base, right, which is really intriguing to me because... The, the ocean is a hostile environment, right? The temperatures, the bone-crushing uh, pressures, uh, and the ocean will kill you if, you if you turn your back on it. And the fact that they made this environment their home was so audacious. And, and one of the things you heard about SEALs, and I even heard when I was in the teams, is that if the enemy is in pursuit of you, always go to the water. Mm-hmm. Because no one is brave enough or stupid enough to follow you there. And that just, for me, was really cool. It's like, if, I, if, if I'm making this hostile place my home because the... Because people won't follow me there, that was cool. And the fact that, add to the fact that I was just comfortable in the water, I think that's kind of what it means to be a SEAL. And and again, some of the other spec ops units, certainly they, they operate in the water, they do some diving and stuff, but that was the only unit that really is born of the water. I really, the frogman was really what I loved. Yeah, it's interesting because yeah. there's people who come from like landlocked areas who don't seem to have a great deal of water exposure, yet that adaptability attribute is probably the one that you, that you mentioned yeah. in your book where all yeah. of a sudden they can um, not only get that exposure to it, but they can actually then thrive and then become a SEAL. 